Welcome back to the set, ladies and gentlemen. I am CJ, and Are this... You? Are you now? I am. This is CJ's first cooking show. I am CJ. Right over here is Nate. Right it's over me. there is Ethan. Hey, guy. Yeah, hey, and hey. today, I'm excited. Why am I excited? Because we're making tacos. Taco Bell? Yes. Come on, let's get some tacos. Uh, One kind of taco? No. no. Two? Mm-mm. What about... No. It's a good idea. Dang it. Three. Oh. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a baseline chicken taco, but with three different special sauces okay. that will crush your taco game. Anytime you're like, hey, I want to have a taco, but I don't want to just have it with just Plain the same old boring. thing that I've always been doing. Yeah. I'm going to blow your minds away. Get ready to ride the sauce train wow. with me on this adventure. <laughs> Now, before we get into this delightful taco heaven tornado of tastiness. I gotta go, Julia, we got cows. Before we do that, we're going to ring in the new crew. We're gonna okay. honor you, the new subscribers, the new viewers. When you let us know in the comments, I wanna be sure that everybody else knows you're new to the family. Yeah. So, uh, here we go. This comes in from a Fernie Pad. Fernie Pad? Fernie Pad. Fernie Pad. Fernie Pad. Uh, new to the show, great job guys. Love the portable Blackstone griddle. This dude camps, but he's looking into getting right a new on. one for his house. Welcome, um, my friend. Then we've got Michael Clark. Hello, Michael, Michael Clark. Michael Clark, great show, fellas. My wife just bought me a Blackstone for the anniversary. Heck yeah. Love it, new subscriber, new, new to the show. And then last, right now, we've got, this is a special one. This is Bumbles underscore B -tuna. 432, exactly. Bumblebee Tuna. His dad or her dad watches the show. They've all fallen in love with it. They're now all watching, but wow. this individual- it's a family affair. Bumblebee Tuna happens to be a new subscriber to YouTube and right has on. recently subscribed. Right so on. So let's ring in the new crew. Bumblebee Tuna. And let's get into some tacos. So chicken tacos, they are pretty simple. The only real complicated measure you might have to consider is if you go flour or if you go corn. Right, Obviously you, go you would go corn. I really Cone. Because Obviously any madman would do flour tacos. No. It's cone. It's gonna be on all three of our tacos is chicken, pico, and some chopped romaine lettuce. So let's talk about pico for a second. You can get whatever kind of tomato that you like. Plum, you got your just regular red vine tomatoes, whatever you want. Give that a nice dice. We're essentially looking small for dice. the definitely right, tiny. yes, definitely a oh, small yeah. dice. We want all of our ingredients to be about the same size. After our tomatoes, we're moving on to our jalapenos. Again, same size. Nice you, can, you can get rid of the seeds if you want. Uh, following that, we're moving on to some red onion. Not to be confused with purple onion, Betty. <laughs> but uh, we've got some red onions diced nice and small. And then after that, we're going to do a quick rough chop on some cilantro, mm, a little salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a little squeeze of oh, lime powder? juice. A li uh, powder is just going to incorporate well here. We're going we're okay. to have a lot of flavors cruising. So uh, give it a little bit of squeeze of olive oil, or as we like a to say in the business, a little Charlie, if you will. Shut up. Stop. Move forward. <laughs> Toss that up. Let all those sauces start to incorporate. Set it aside. Now, my friends, we are moving on to our first. So Pico's, the, like, that's the beginning. That's, that's the beginning. That's the beginning. That's Can I get a beginning. bell ring for the beginning? Okay. A beginning right. bell ring? Okay. You know what? That's a lot of flavor going on there. And do we have a lot of sauces, so we got to clear the palate often. Obviously. If you, if you will. Now, sauce, a number one. Number this dose. Is, okay, you're actually right. Number dose. Numero. Dose. Un, sauce. Dos, tres, un, dos, tres, un, dos, tres, un, dos, I don't know the words of that. I don't even know what song you're singing. Okay. We're all now dumber for having listened to it. <laughs> <laughs> I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Let's talk about this sauce. This is a fun one for all occasions, but it's a bit of a copycat from my favorite place. Not really my favorite oh, no. place. Taco Bell has Gosh. a great Baja mm. sauce. Today we're gonna be dancing the Baja dance. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is get our red bell pepper. We're gonna uh, depith. 
So chop off the top and the bottom, get rid of those seeds. Uh, that's gonna go in a little blender. We've got one of these little, uh, what do we call these little guys here? Ninja. Uh, a, a little ninja. Go ninja, nobody don't need ninja. So uh, from our bell peppers, we're moving on to jalapenos. I'm gonna give this just a rough chop. I'm keeping the seeds. Why do I keep the seeds? Because of the heat, baby. Because I like that heat, baby. We're gonna do a little bit of mayo. I thought that this okay. would have been a sour cream based uh, recipe, but it's not. So we've got a little bit of mayo. Uh, now we're moving on to some grated Parmesan cheese. We got some lime juice. We've got a little dusting of some mustard powder. Of course, a pinch of salt, pepper to taste. Uh, then we've got a little bit of garlic powder a little onion powder, a little chili powder, and some oregano. Of course, well, it's a sauce. Now, we're gonna blend it. Uh, if we didn't have those other large things, we wouldn't need to blend. You could just get this in a bowl and mix it up. But those bell peppers and jalapenos. Mm. They're going puree style. Definitely need to puree. That's exactly right. Are you going so, to frappe? That girl will tear out your heart, put it in a blender, and hit frappe. Now, as you're doing this, if the consistency is a little too thick, you could add some other liquids, maybe something like a pineapple juice or Shut a mango up. pineapple. Great idea. Which I am definitely gonna do in this occasion. Bro, that looks money, it tastes money, and it's gonna be awesome on a taco. Woo hoo! Dang. All right, we got a lot happening here. Like Moving on. This is the micro machine guy. This is the micro machine man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of micro machine. <laughs> Motor mouth over here. Machine Kung Kelly. <laughs> I'm no, not that. The machine. rap god, I'm a taco god. Micro machine guy. Oh, micro machines are micro machine pocket play sets sold separately from. I'm going to go for you, not them. That was six feet of bubblegum, not the same. <laughs> god bless you. Whoa! Now, sauce, a number two, not number counting three. Pico. We're not counting Pico. We can. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. We are going to be doing a chipotle crema. What would you think goes into chipotle crema? Yep, sour cream, that's our base. We're gonna add probably a tablespoon or two of that, a tablespoon or two of mayo. Now, More this mayo, is fun. Okay. We're gonna be doing some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now, this is the important thing. You wanna have the Chipotle's in the, the sauce. You need the juice. You need the juice and you need the peppers. We need it all. So we're gonna add a couple of those adobos in the sauce and then we're gonna no, do peppers like- peppers with the adobo. That too. You then we're gonna it. do a little bit of the adobo sauce. We're gonna squeeze some lime juice, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little bit of salt Easy. to taste. Give that a blend. Again, what you're looking for is the consistency that will drizzle well over a taco. So if it's too thick, Thin it up, and what better way to do that than some pineapple juice or some mango juice? Boom, dude, we are done Holy with that cow. sauce. We're moving on. More we're cruising. Sauces? We're cruising. We're getting closer to the taco the finish line. That's three. Three, one pico, two sauces. Are there any more sauces? Uh mm huh. -hmm. A fourth? Yep. Now we've had one sauce. <laughs> three. Now a three. We are moving on to a cilantro. Four, but who's counting? I'm, I'm actually counting. The fourth one. The fourth variation that will Pico's go on our really taco is right. cilantro lime. Okay, let's do it. That's what we're gonna move on to. Now this one, yes, you guessed it right. Our very first ingredient is sour cream. That made sense. Now I'm gonna throw another curveball. We're doing a little bit of mayo in this one. Well, with is, the curveball. Well, we've got some chopped cilantro. This doesn't have to be perfect as far as like how small you go, but we're not gonna be blending this. This is definitely gonna just be mixed in a small bowl with a spoon and why a spoon because it's dull you twit it'll hurt more obviously uh after that we're gonna do a very small mince on some jalapeno you're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder a squeeze of lime juice some salt favorite. and some pepper favorite. and again if we're not at the consistency that we want with the amount of lime juice let's thin it out and get it to that right consistency bingo bango technically Coco. bongo Bongo. <laughs> <laughs> that is why they call me Cuban Pete. And as the king of the rumba beat, we are done with our sauces. It's time to move on to the tacos. Mm. We're at, we're getting close to the finish line and to get there, we need chicken tacos. Could not be any more simple. I've got some chicken cutlets. I'm gonna drizzle a cutlets. little, I love them. They're great. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, olive oil. Gonna season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. Also going to put a dash Double or dipping. two. Double dipping. Double salt and pepper and tequila lime. Yeah. 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 Oh, All that's going on the Blackstone. But before it goes on there, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the Blackstone. That way we get a nice crust and sear. Flip that once. 
because they're so thin you Twice, don't have to do it. Nope, three, three times, times lady. lady. That's bad. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Let's pull those off and get those ready to chop up. Give them a second to chill, relax. While those are resting, we're gonna throw some corn tortillas on the Blackstone. Gotta be corn, doesn't it? This, well, for me, it always has to be corn. Yeah, I guess. Because corn is awesome! We're gonna pull those off when those are done. Time to cut up our chicken. Let's get our taco holder. Add our tortillas, add a little bit of that diced up chicken. I'm gonna put a little bit of that romaine lettuce that I just now Over chopped up. Over the chicken? Up. Over the chicken, of course. Okay. Yeah, where would you put it otherwise? I don't know. Exactly. On top of that, obviously, what goes on top of that, Ethan? <laughs> I have no clue. Just guess. Take a guess. Sauce? Pico. Starts with. Jeez. Sounds like Eco. Uncle Rico. Uncle yeah. Rico. Throw Ecto pig cooler. skin right over that mountain. Right on. Right on. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of pico over all three of those. And my friends, we've Good got looking. our baseline. Good looking. Now, first is obviously Baja sauce, followed by our chipotle crema, and then our cilantro these, lime. These are good looking. Dude, I mean, why don't we put just one more? Why don't we just have one more as like just, just the pico and the lettuce and the chicken? Nothing else. Yes. Let's it's called the do control. It. That's the control. Yeah. Let's ring it and bring it for the control. For all the control. You are a control freak, Ethan. Everyone knows it. That's what your girlfriend says. It. says. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> 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 all right, basic chicken tacos don't have to be basic any longer. These are basic. These are not basic. These We've got four bits of majesty. But before are I go they? in, I do need to just a See, little they're bit. They're just gonna taste like the seasoning. No, they're not. They're gonna have they a little might. bit of love. Oh, and pretty. if they do, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. I know. I know. No. Um, all right, which one do we get into first, Ethan? Baja. And that's this one. Yeah. Okay, great. Baja! So we're gonna go ahead and do the lime slaw. I knew it! One. <laughs> Guys, I don't even wanna waste time. It's gonna be a I'm just so hungry. That's the prettiest of the sauces, I would mm -hmm. say. It's the contrast, the white with the post sauce. Heat, a little bit of heat. We left the seeds yep. in the jalapenos. That's warm. I'm a fan. Not hot. Dude, these would be so much better with flour. Mm -mm. I think so. There's the chipotle. Wow. That is a big heat. Big heat. Big heat. Big fat heat. Rain flew in sideways. Stinging rain. Sometimes rain even seemed to come straight up. If you like heat, follow that recipe to the T. Time for the Baja. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this one. Because of Taco Bell. It's got to be better than Taco Bell. There's probably all processed and grody. Way better than Taco Bell. Thanks. I mean, good job. I mean... But good. Okay. Um, if I had to, if I had to choose one, I think I'd take the Baja. Yeah? We made enough, and it wasn't that long. We could have cooked a lot more tacos. Oh, dude, throw Sorry. a couple more... Ethan, we should have cooked a lot more tacos. Yeah, Did you get one? I didn't, I didn't get, get one. anything. Jeez. I made you a baseline. Yay, I get the control group. All right, let me know which one <laughs> that you would like, because all of these are money. Woo, the heat is all really? catching up. It's wow. all. The heat is on? The be heat. Be 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 exactly. Be Let me know in the comments below which one you would like. Speaking of comments. Here we are. Take it's there. CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the segment of the show where I get to screenshot mm -hmm. comments from you, oh, yeah. the viewers. It's true. If you guys write it. We read it. That's right. So we all get to have a little bit of fun, a little spicy, a little aggressive at times. Point being, we all have a good time, <laughs> no matter what. So some starting from- Some don't. That's true. That's actually why they mean leave mean comments. But starting from the top in no particular order, this one comes in from RGS. RGS? Yep. RGS says, stick with cooking and sideline your comedy. This is a cooking channel, wow. isn't it? Wow. Wow. Right? It's also a channel in which I hang out with my peeps. Your peeps? My people. We have a good time. We cook. We quote. We listen, ring the bell. Listen, we, so R. R. Here, R. Tolkien. RGS is... Are you making tacos? No, you'll see. You'll he really was upset. You maybe you'll one. see. You'll see. RGS. Sorry, dude. Can't do it, man. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this next one comes in from AFK9 Handler. Wow. 
That's actually how it starts. Canine. Canine handler. AF canine handler. Yes, that's what I just said. Got it. No, you said AFK. Nine, nine handler. handler. Okay. Is there a niner in there? I was definitely calling from a walkie talkie. Don't. Not here. Not now. This person says, wow, could y'all be any more annoying? Yeah. Let's give it up for old AFK nine rockin' niner. to the clock and niner, niner. handler. We can be a lot more annoying. Ah, oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, this is from Ginny Barrett. And Ginny, Ginny, yep, Ginny says, what kind of childhood did you have where fake plastic cheese was packed into a piece of celery and Whoa. D daubed, dabbed, daubed with pieces of pimento and called ants on a log? No. You was robbed. Yeah, it's peanut butter and raisins. It's... Wait, did you have peanut butter? I had pimento. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I went. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving on. <laughs> and it was leaning over, and then. <laughs> Here's to better days. Yeah. With better cooks. Ahead. And better recipes, and better bells. And better bell ringers. Michael Roberts slides right on in here on Michael the old Roberts. on the old encouragement train. Uh oh. Not funny. Uh -oh. Hope your food is good. Uh, yes and mostly. Mostly dead. He's slightly alive. The food is delicious. Yeah. And the fun is it's awesome. Fun. Hey, quiet down over there, guy. We're ringing the bell for hey, old Mike. how about Mike. you make enough food for all of us? Jeez, he is. I don't think he was like playing. He's, he's get... Somebody's hangry. Somebody? <laughs> Maybe you need a nap. <laughs> okay, this next one. Uh, I hope he's really, really nice this yeah, time. Yeah, Anthony. We've had enough mean I, ones. Anthony Beal. Or, Actually, the last one. Oh, I can't tell Tony the last Beal. one was nice or mean. It was kind of Anthony's nice. Anthony's the last one. Right. That last one was nice-ish. Nice-ish. This one, I'll let you decide. Most of the time, they're nice-ish. They're not always. Not all the time. We got it. Anthony says. I hope this is interruptions nicer. spoil things. I hundred percent agree. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. Quit interrupting. Jeez. Jeez. You hear a joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. No, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't interrupt. <laughs> uh, Casey nice Bailey one. says. Casey Bailey. Love the quotes. Yes. Love the recipes. Awesome. Love the burnt bacon. Oh. Always entertaining. Okay. My two-year-old knows Nate and CJ and loves CJ's intro. Always says, eat that. He eats more foods now because oh, of your that's show. So good. Who knew you would help my two-year-old not be picky? Me. Only difference in Colt and CJ is Colt likes seafood and mushrooms. You're my boy, Colt. You're my boy. Colt, I'm so sorry that come be on that, my that show, kind buddy. Of child abuse is happening Plenty in the world. Plenty of room over. Casey, at repeat for delicious food of all ages. But I don't know about all that. Let's. I mean, you start. I'm a big fan of Colt. You start munching on crazy food like that. It might. Uh, you know, give you some crazy tendencies, Speaking if you will. Hey, CJ, did you know? That the guitarist for, well, former guitarist for Suicidal Tendencies gave up all of his copyrights for all the songs he did for Suicidal Tendencies because he sold his guitar to Mike uh, at a, who's the dude that started the band? He sold his guitar to Mike at a point, and then he wanted to get his guitar back, which was a Gibson Flying V, by the way. Uh, apparently, it's like, it was a prototype that was originally made for Eddie Van Halen from... Dang. Yeah, from the former guitarist from... Dang. Yeah, John, from his friend. But Eddie didn't want it, so he got it. He needed some money. He sold it to Mike, and then to get it back, he gave away all of his copyrights uh, and anything else for Suicidal Tendencies. So, technically, he doesn't own anything. But a guitar... Yes, but the stick flying the Gibson. We hope that it's valuable. Uh, cheers to yes. insane tendencies. I like that, such. I think the Chipotle sauce was getting to I think so. A hard time totally over there. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it's spicy. <laughs> I do not doubt it. Sorry, dude. Well, the sun is officially settling on True. this delightful recipe. It, it was a good one. Technically, this could fall into the category of four chicken tacos made four different ways. You got your pico, you got your baja, you got your cilantro lime, you got your chipotle crema, which is really <laughs> hot, as we all it just was. saw. It was. 
Point being, go to Blackstone Products. Dot com. That's it. Uh, for this recipe and tons of others, also go to griddlenation.com where you can pick up awesome swag and stickers and fun stuff from all the shows that are involved. Look, we're having to use my phone as light because it's so yeah. dark in here. Uh, go, go to uh, It's a Party, pick up a shirt or two, and uh, for all of those who are just showing up for the first time, let me know if you're hanging out in the comments. Yeah, new I would, subscribers. Let I would love to honor you yeah. and tell you how much the Griddle Nation loves you. In the meantime, we are ringing it out in honor of chicken tacos that you could never go wrong. New subscribers, Griddle Nation, and the likes. Oh, these would be awesome with chicken, with shrimp instead of chicken. Dude, he made some for both of us. I wow. care about you, Nate. Unlike CJ. Thanks. Thank you. So